God has created the universe and everything in it. And here we see the complete opposite. People creating gods with their own hands and worshipping these man-made gods. These gods are then sold in the shops. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, it has been revealed to you that if you ever commit idol worship, all your works will be nullified and you will be with the losers. As for the idols they set up beside God, they do not create anything. They themselves were created. They are dead, not alive, and they have no idea how or when they will be resurrected. Gods made from clay and then worshipped. These gods, however, cannot even save themselves. How can they save you and me? Ask yourself, ask your soul and your intelligence. Is it really worth worshipping these clay gods made by yourselves? The Bollywood actor Shah Rukh Khan and some other actors like Salman Khan, Amir Khan, they claim to be Muslims and claim to follow the religion of Islam. But is this what a Muslim does or is this what a Muslim is supposed to do? We all need to uh, really trust and believe in our religions, uh, whatever religion we belong to. I'm Islamic by birth, so I believe in Allah and His sayings. My wife is Hindu, so I've read the books that she follows. I do the puja that she does. And I realize strangely that the language is very different, uh, but the message is exactly the same. These people believe that all religions are correct, but the reality is that not all religions lead to Jannah. To say that whatever religion you were born into, keep on following it because they all give the same message is a big time lie. Everyone and everything is not God. The true and perfect description of God is found in the Quran. Say he is Allah who is one. Allah the eternal refuge. He neither begets nor is born, nor is there to him an equivalent. All roads do not lead to the same destination. For example, if someone asks you for direction, you cannot show him or her 50 different roads and directions and tell him or her that they all lead him or her to his destination because it would be a deception and misleading information. We as Muslims supposed to love for our brothers and sisters in faith and humanity what we love for ourselves. And this is why you will see all these lovely people out there spreading and sharing the beautiful religion of God with other fellow human beings not to make the religion of Islam any bigger or better, but to save as many souls as possible from burning in the eternal hellfire because we love them and care about them. Letter by letter, no mistakes. Read this for me. Isaiah. What book we have? 2 Kings? Yeah, second Kings. Isaiah. We cannot be selfish and save ourselves only from the hellfire. Worshipping the idols lead to the hellfire. If you see your loved ones running towards the blazing fire, are you going to stop them from jumping into it or are you going to let them jump in there just because you love them and respect their decision? If you really love them then you will at least try to stop them from jumping in there and this is the true love and respect. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says who is better in speech than one who calls people to Islam and says I am a Muslim. Some people might hate me for saying this, but I still have to be truthful and obviously the truth hurts. I want to love other people and respect their beliefs also, but at the same time, I have to tell them the truth. For example, if someone says that 2 plus 2 is 5, I have to tell them that I love you, but 2 plus 2 is 4, not 5. The haters say that Islam is a mafia religion. It seems like that to them because Islam is the only practical religion which cares about everyone. 
Islam is the only religion that tell you the truth and the truth is always bitter as we all know. My friends, just like some food that is bitter in taste but it is beneficial for your health and some food which might be sweet in taste but they are indeed bad for your health and the health advisors advise you not to have those food. Does that mean they are your enemy and they want bad for you? No, they are advising you because they care about you. So the intelligent people choose wisely. They would rather accept bitter truth than sweet lies. And Islam is the bitter truth. Only Islam will lead you to Jannah, not any other way of life. So don't be fooled by these so-called actors who are misguided they might be intelligent and talented in the eyes of the worldly people, but in the eyes of God, they are deaf, dumb and blind. If you make these people your role models, then your destination will very likely be the hellfire also. So open your eyes while there's still time and don't let the devil choose your path. In reality, these so-called celebrities actually are the vehicles or transportations of the devil. <laughs> they are driven by the devil himself, which they cannot see or realize. This day have I perfected for you your religion and completed my favor on you and chosen for you Islam as your religion. Indeed, the religion in the sight of Allah is Islam. And whoever desires other than Islam as religion, never will it be accepted from him and he in the hereafter will be among the losers.